Here he is. Nice to meet you. Doing your yeah, good, good to see you. Vincent, thanks for meeting us. Yeah, really happy to speak to you. Um, first of all, how are you finding the championship so far? It's physical, it's aggressive, it's um, you know game after game after game, and it gives a, a different challenge as a coach. Like I was used to have like a, a nice week of preparation, but I wanted something different. And um, I love the team I'm working with, the players and, yeah. and the club. It's a good place. It's been it's been um, almost living two lives. One as a coach because you're. You're, you know, you've got to transmit so much information to players, especially in the beginning. Yeah. And then the second one is a little bit, you know, with an eye on the future and, and, and recruitment. So we've we've done a lot of recruitment. A we've lot. Had to, yeah, we've had to spend <laughs> countless hours in in like checking everything on the players. You know how, obviously the, the technical side of it, but as well, you know how they are as people, how they would fit into the club, and you know who you know who they are, what they do. Every every bit of detail you need to find out. And for every play you sign, you probably you know have to watch I don't know 20 or 30 for the position or even more we're not used to all these signings like obviously before we had one or two but we can't keep up with it we can't <laughs> did you know when you come in that you're going to be making so many signings or yeah it was clear because you had um, um, a, a team who did very very well for the for the club but aging you know yeah. so the only way to 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 move forward is to and, and there was also a lot of players out of contract, yeah. and um, there was no real value created by by by. So the, the value created was created by three or four players that allowed us to reinvest and and get the bodies back up. So, uh, but I knew that was also an opportunity to change things a little bit quicker. So otherwise, if they're all in the building and stuff, and and if they're aging and they still got contracts and and they're maybe not ready for for the next journey, um, it takes you longer. Uh, and in this case, I was able to do it pretty quickly. Um, I had a pretty good idea of players that would help us now um, and that we could afford. And I think we've done, we've done well in really this transfer well. period. And, and the style of play at the moment is, is all, I can tell you, it's all everybody's talking about. It's like <laughs> there's a lift in the town, there's an excitement as well. It's exciting. Is that what you wanted to bring when you came in? Um, it's, it's what I know, I, I think, by... by I guess it's the other way around. By bringing me in, that was inevitably going to be what I bring. You know, um, yeah. I, 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 I couldn't see the game in another way. I respect every other way of the game, but this is how I understand the game. And um, I think the biggest thing for me is I want I, I want fans to be proud of the players. Yeah. You know, I know there's a style of play, but I can say, I can tell you now that every game we've played we've played so far, I think we've outrun the opposition by 20%. Mm. You know, and that's something I'm really proud of. It's, it's not because running gets you the results or, or, or just that, but it's, it's just to stay in line with what this club expects and demand. It's, it's players who work hard. You can already see that players have, have got a connection with the club. You know, these, uh, it's, it's not something that is, uh, that is, that is fake. You know, yeah. you, they put on the shirt and if you see Vitinho, he's come from, <laughs> God knows where he's come from in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but you can see that there's a real connection there, and and uh, and that's what football is to me. Yeah, we couldn't believe that when when we signed him. Was like we signed a Brazilian. We signed him. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> Before you started the job, were you, was you aware of the connection between the fans and the club? It, obviously, for me, it's it's so close to where I've been for for a big part of my life, which was obviously in Manchester. Mm. Uh, but then the drive every morning is, you know, you drive up and up and up and up and up <laughs> and then you get in this place where it's like every family, every household has a real connection with yeah. the club, uh, which, which I don't think I've experienced ever before. It's, it's literally, um, I think it's one in every ha household that goes to the game. Right? Yeah. But within Burnley, it's as, if you, it's as if you're coaching Real Madrid or something. It's like it's everything. To, to the people in that town, that's very special. Correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I can't describe, so I always say when, if you're ever driving around or you're walking through Burnley and you see kids playing on the park, in a lot of other surrounding towns, you always see kids in Man United tops yeah. or City tops yeah. or Liverpool in Burnley. Everyone's just got, everybody supports Burnley. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's nothing like it. Are you aware how cold Turf Moor gets during the winter? Yeah, I'm aware. I've been uh, <laughs> yeah, of course you're, you would have played on the there. visiting end a few times yeah. when it was cold. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but the turf during the winter is 
freezing. Yeah. It's this feels like the wind whips around. Yeah. And <laughs> um, what was it like coming there as as a player? Because it's not the easiest of places to come, is it? The main thing with Turf Moor is is one of these places. If you grant momentum, then you're in trouble. Mm. Um, it's it's about it was as an opponent. It was about keeping the crowd asleep. <laughs> so it was like making sure they worried more about the weather than the game type of thing. <laughs> that makes because, sense. Because once it, once it, one, once the place catches momentum, it's mm. like everything is, gets difficult. You know, clearing a ball is difficult. You know, yeah. running up the pitch gets difficult. Even then, it was like a mission: do not let the players get momentum. Mm. And uh, you get that with a lot of these, you know, very English football grounds, you know, it's like they wake up with blood. So, mm. so don't, don't drop blood in the water. That was the mission. That's a good saying, yeah. actually. Um, are you getting used to Burnley as a town? And I know Jay Rodriguez is, is from Burnley. Yeah. He's, he's the only one. Seems um, like everyone's related to him. Like whenever <laughs> I meet someone, it's like... <laughs> Literally, everyone is. Everyone, yeah. They'll have a cousin or someone that's related to him yeah. or try to get free tickets or a T-shirt. Yeah. Um, has he told you about some of the, the local lingo around Not Burnley? yet. Not yet. Um, do you know what a Benny and Hot is? No. Right, so uh, on the ground, we, we drink a thing called Benedictine. Right. Right, and the Miners Club, just down the road, I'll have to take you in sometime, they'd love to have you. Yeah. Um, my grandma's on the board, I can sort it out. And in there, they sell Benedictine. I think it's a French liqueur, and basically, the soldiers from the First World War brought it back, and it's been a delicacy in Burnley ever since. So we have it with hot water. Right. So it, the best way I can describe it is, it smells a bit like mouthwash, but right. it tastes amazing. Right. So we, and when do you have it, morning or evening? Both, it depends, yeah. depends how the day's going. But we <laughs> I always, shouldn't be asking yeah. the question really, but... <laughs> but we, we always have it on the turf as well. Okay. So when it's really cold, and if you have a look out, you'll, um, you'll see people in a little plastic cup yeah. with a little Benny, Benny and Hot. It's, it's called for the coaches as well, you know? So, <laughs> do yeah. you know, if someone said, shut up scriking, do you know what scriking means? No. Scriking's crying. Shut up, Scriking. Shut up, Scriking. So, Scriking right. means crying. Oining? He's oining me. Is that morning? No, not quite. Uh, <laughs> my sister in law said it the other day. It means winding, he's winding me up. Oh, uh, he's oining you. He's, up. Oining, he's oining me. He's oining me. He's me. proper oining. Yeah. Like, he's oining me. Jay Ruddle, though, if yeah. he said to Jay, you're oining me today, yeah. I think he'll go out <laughs> and have a good game. Yeah, well, he's, he keeps having good games at the moment, so I can't say it to him yet. We've got a lot of derbies coming up, um, and I suppose you're aware when you was at City and stuff how big the derbies are. But are you aware of the, the Burnley Blackburn derby? Yeah, I was aware of it before I came to, to Burnley, and it's always something that's intrigued me. I, I love rivalries in mm. football, and I don't really play them down. I like to, you know, make them what they are, and, and you've got lots to lose and lots to win in these type of games. Uh, but I want the team to look forward to it. I want the team to embrace it and. Um, and hopefully, my, my biggest wish uh, as a coach on the day is that you know you get the te team that's able to show who they really are. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's good, yeah, because um, a lot of managers play down derbies, but yeah. when you live in a town like Burnley, when you're from it, that's like that's a big thing. You know, we know a lot of Rovers fans, and we work with yeah. them, and, and to just go in on that Monday morning if we beat them that weekend. It, it means everything. I think Graham Soon has said one of the most vicious derbies. Yeah. Is it, and I think vicious is the best way to describe it. It's, um, it's not very nice. So where does it all come from? Um, it it's goes back years. It's probably one of the oldest derbies in football. And li what I don't get about it is that Blackburn's literally down the road, yeah. six miles down the road. We know, we know each other. We work together. Like, we've got we literally see each other all the time and I know loads of Rovers fans but it's just it's just not nice there's no love <laughs> lost to go to Blackburn and I think we're the only club that does this you have to get a coach in Burnley so you can't drive there all the coaches have to leave together and it's when you go in it's you've never seen any you've got like grandmas giving you the V signs on the way yeah. in little kids <laughs> as well and it's it's I've never ever known anything like it and I've been to other games and other derbies and yeah it's, it's it's not very nice but we've got a few of them coming up would you treat a derby as any other game in preparation or like you said you get quite excited for it i, I think preparation can't change mm. um 
you know, and and that's the experience I draw I draw from having been lucky to play a lot of big games in my mm. life. It's you can't tailor make make every. You need a routine and you go into it. And I suppose it's the same for you. It doesn't matter whether you're interviewing Beyonce or someone <laughs> else. In reality, is you're doing your job and you're good at it. So you've just got to trust your routine leading yeah. up to it. And that's all we do is we 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 build a routine that we think is is the most robust. And then into the game, you know, that allows you to then play a little bit on the emotions of the day. Uh, but the routine, it should, the game shouldn't start on Monday. It's, yeah. It starts when, when the ref blows the whistle. To summarise, have you been happy so far with the performances, where we are in the league? Yeah, yeah, I've been... Look, where we are in the league, you can see it's a scrap. It's all the championship is about. But I did say it for us. Just be in the fight until, you know, World Cup, w that winter comes up. Mm. The wind start uh, going through turf more, yep. you know, the cold wind. But just, just being amongst it and especially with, with our team, we still got a lot of improvement in this team to come. You know, um, these players have just started playing together. They're just starting to understand some of the messages. And um, I've been there before. When you get a lot of players to integrate, it takes time. You know, like you want players to be on the pitch and, and not having to think about what they have to do. And that's when they become the best version of themselves. It's genuinely really exciting to come and watch Burnley. There's, there's a buzz in the town again. I, I'm, all fans are looking forward to going on again and, and yeah. seeing this style of play. It's, it's great, it really is. Yeah, well, I've, I've felt home since, since the first day I got here. And that's all I can say. And um, um, there's a lot to, you know, I even love the kit. Oh. The kit's amazing, isn't it? So it's the, it's the best kit we've had. Really? For, <laughs> since I, have I have nothing to do with it as well. No, it's, <laughs> it's definitely the best kit we've had for, I'd say, a good 20 years, I reckon. I'll show you this, hang on. Yeah. So I got it for my nephews yesterday and we were all looking at it and they were playing. There they are. Oh, and it looks really... good, doesn't it? Yeah, I just like, I like the colours, I like the shapes on, on, it, on it as well. And it just looks good when the team's scoring as well. Yeah. You know, uh, with, with, with the fan. It, I, I, I really like the shirt, I've got to be honest. Um, my kids are playing in the shirt as well. Yeah. So it's, it's like, um, and it fits as well, type of energy in the team that we are as well. I know, agree. It's... Like the, the sponsorship as well. Definitely, definitely the best kit we've had in ages. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one myself. So Excellent. 32 years old and still buy the kit, but it's got me, <laughs> I ain't got my name on the back. There's nothing better than football kids, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for taking time out today. Yeah, thank you. Speaking to us, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll definitely take you down the Miners Club sometime yeah. soon. A hot Benny. A, hot, a Benny and Hot. A Benny and Hot, yeah. Right. And quickly, how is it you're referred to? Is it the gaffer, the boss, Finney? Uh, I'd say to the lads, Depending on who I'm meeting, they call me in different ways, but you know, you can say Vinny. You yeah. Know, Vinny's fine, yeah. It's, <laughs> I say to the lads, you can call me whatever you want, the result be the same. I'll <laughs> tell you to do something, you still have to do it, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's Vinny. It's, Vinny's good. Vinny, right. thanks very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah. Any more for any more? <laughs>